Good morning guys, uh, this is Kumar here from Isha Training Solutions. Today I'm going to bring you a video on how to record uh, for an SAP GUI applications using SAP GUI protocol. Well, probably this could be the first video out there on YouTube or anywhere else, I believe, because I've checked it, it's not available on YouTube at least. So, uh, so mine will be the first. I mean, I'm just giving it a guess. I'm not sure 100%. Well, honestly speaking, I have already created a video on this particular SAP GUI applications uh, using SAP GUI protocol, the recording. Uh, but, there, uh, but what happened is um, I had to hide most of the part of the screen because of certain reasons. And some of the students, um, you know, didn't get a hang of it as to how it looks like and all that. You know, uh, the, the, it, I mean, it's not 100% satisfaction. I mean, uh, the, 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 the video is not to the 100% satisfaction. So to the students, so I thought, you know, I'll go ahead and record it again. But this time around, you know, everything, you know, you'll be able to see it. Okay, so I'm, I'm, um, I got a hold of a application under test, you know, wherein, you know, I can completely expose it. So uh, you will have a complete idea of recording at this, uh, now with this video, a clean recording. Okay, let's see how to record. Okay, how to record on the SAP GUI applications using SAP GUI protocol. Okay, so you can always call me on this number 801-995-2427 or WhatsApp me or call me on the WhatsApp for any trainings for SAP GUI protocol or for the regular web HTTP HTML protocol or the load runner trainings. You can always visit that website as well. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and start recording. Okay, so let me create a new script on the region. So make sure, watch carefully here, make sure you select the appropriate protocol, which is SAP GUI protocol. Give me any name. So I'm gonna uh, create this uh, script for purchase. Uh, this, uh, there is a business call, process called purchase requisition, okay? Or uh, a script called purchase requisition. So let me create the script for that. Click on create. You see, that's where my, you see, that's the script name, purchase requisition business, uh, uh, business process. Okay, let me, um, actually, ideally, I wanted the name to be business process or the script, but uh, accidentally, I've put it as business requisition. Please ignore that. So let me go ahead and record it now. Just, just select this action and click on record so that your recording would happen. Record would start. So the recording is happening in the script called purchase requisition, business requisition. Actually, it should be a business process. Business process means business script. I mean, the script. The recording will happen into the action called record into the action called action. Okay, so that's what it is. And you watch carefully here. We are not recording into the browser here. We are not recording using the browser. We are recording using a Windows application called SAP Logon. What is this SAP Logon? So honestly, guys, um, once you get into the project your SAP team, you know, the functional team or the, the, uh, or the application team, the SAP guys would send you an SAP logon launchpad. Some people call it as an SAP client as well. So they will send you a software for that, wherein you have to go ahead, download that and install it on, on your desktop. Okay, so once you have installed this SAP client or SAP logon launchpad, then you will be able to access the SAP. Okay, so if that SAP logon launchpad is installed on your machine, it will automatically show up over here. It will automatically show up over here. So Kumar sir, um, well I have installed it but I am not able to see it yet. What do I do? So just go to that logon launchpad. Okay, so this is, this is what is installed on my desktop. Go to the properties. Okay, figure out where it is installed. You see this is installed in where? Uh, it is installed in C program files in a folder called SAP front front end SAP GUI and then it is installed over there. You see, this is the .exe file, the executable file. So just copy that whole path with the executable file. Okay, so here is the browse. Okay, you can click on that and browse to that part. Okay, now that you have browsed, select that login.exe file and just click on open then it will show up over here. Just in case, 
you have installed it but it's still showing up it's not showing up over here first thing make sure it is windows application but it's not still showing up as shown you how to do it just browse to that path just browse to that path and then go ahead and select that logon.exe double click on that and then it will add up okay so see it comes up over here so there's no arguments that you need to pass here it's whatever the arguments that is required it's already been set up on the sap logon launchpad so let's not worry about the arguments working directory you can leave as it is it's not of that significance and recording options i'll make another video so you can keep watching this uh, particular channel uh, for uh, two to three videos on this sap gui protocol now you start recording guys now you start recording okay so there could be i mean uh, usually when the development team gives you uh, this client okay the sap logon launch client launchpad client to install on your machine they will also give you some connection string using the connection you, you have to set up that connection string you see i have set up this connection string over here okay so <clears throat> you can uh, you generally need this connection string so that you can connect to the servers okay so that is one of the setups that you have to do okay that that has nothing to do with the vision that is the that has something to do with the sap itself okay how to connect to the sap server so this class is not for that so assuming that the connection has already been made now now you're about to log in so you can make an appropriate comments by the way the one that i'm holding and shaking around this is this has something to do with the vision okay this has all the things that you have to do with the vision okay so this has something to do with the vision so you see uh, <coughs> what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add the comments so you are about to log in so i'm at the comments called login or log on or whatever you're comfortable with okay so now that i have added the comments next you can start the transaction this is just like your web http html guys this works like this so by the way at any point of time you want to stop recording you can stop it or you want to pause recording you can pause it or you want to cancel it you can cancel it and all the recording that you're doing is going into the action called action of your script okay this is for start transaction this is for rendezvous points this is for the comments so i've already added the comments that you're about to log in now you can add the uh, comments uh, start transaction so this is login transaction so let me mark it as login okay now you go ahead and record it for the login piece of code so select on the connection string uh, which is appropriate you see this is for one of the project that i am handling and this is for the training uh, that isha is providing for this sap gui protocol so go ahead and click on the login okay go ahead and click on the login and earlier you have seen that there are only one event now there are four events which means that you are recording uh, your your vision has appropriately identified it and whatever the actions that you are seeing on it it is able to recognize it and not only recognize it it is able to record those events or record those actions okay now let me log in Accidentally, I have given a wrong password. Okay, now you have logged on. This is the place where you uh, wherein you can enter something called the transaction codes. Okay, uh, it's a it's an easy way of going to a particular uh, business process. But you are not comfortable with that, and you are not an ex SAP expert. I totally agree with that. So we'll use the SAP menu. So now we we are we are going to create a purchase requisition. So pull up. I'm adding an appropriate comments. Pull up, purchase requisition screen. Okay. So go to logistics. Go to material management. Go to purchasing, and go to purchase requisition. And you see create. You wanted to create a purchase requisition. So go ahead and click on that again from the sap menu go to logistic material management purchasing purchase requisition and just double click on the create wonderful guys now you went into the purchase requisition screen this is the screen from which you can create the purchase requisition okay you can enter you have to enter the appropriate details over here so <coughs> so 
first we can enter some values in the header so let me add some comments okay i'll say header details so click on header and then this is I'm adding some comments guys okay so this is load runner training from Isha training solutions for the entire course please call me okay so <clears throat> I've added that comments now uh, I actually used to have started and ended the transaction as well because start and end transaction needs to be done for every single thing now I'm going to enter the material okay so enter material details okay now start the transaction material info okay the material that I've chosen is T BW0201 okay now you can end the transaction called material info so now it is like requesting for enter the plant so you have to enter the plant information so you say enter plant info am I adding the comments called enter plant info okay now you can start the transaction called plant info wonderful guys so enter the plant info that is required so the plan that I have uh, that I'm planning to enter is thousand so as soon as I enter thousand all the information related to the plant is showing up over here wonderful so now it is asking for asking me to enter the quantity again before I proceed further end the transaction called plant info okay now we have entered the transaction now I'm about to start uh, I, I'm about to uh, I mean I'm supposed to enter the quantity so enter the comments called quantity okay now you start the transaction for quantity okay so now you enter the quantity please press enter okay it's all good now so go ahead and end the transaction called quantity looks like I haven't entered the login transaction while recording not an issue after the whole script is done we can end this transaction as well but ideally you should have ended while recording itself looks like I haven't done it by mistake but that's fine but I don't want it to record again so let's ignore that for now later on after the whole script is done if we can fix it so this way we know how to end the transaction after the script is created as well so uh, not an issue so now now you're gonna save this purchase requisition so add an appropriate comments so this is for save you're you're about to save the purchase requisition you can start the transaction for saving saving purchase requisition PR means purchase requisition okay so go ahead and save the purchase requisition wonderful purchase requisition blah 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 is created so wonderfully you are able to create the purchase requisition guys so congratulations now you can end the transaction called save PR okay so it's all done guys now we can we can log off and then we can peacefully play back the script so you are about to log off so put an appropriate comments start the log off transaction now go ahead and log it off and end the log off transaction okay now you can stop recording so congratulations guys you have recorded your first script on the SAP GUI protocol so this is the first question a lot of students have asked me are there correlations in SAP GUI protocol no there is no correlation in SAP GUI protocol and that's a good news for you guys which means that most uh, which means that you know most of the scripting is straightforward record and playback but there are certain challenges that you face as you proceed further 
So if you can take my full course, you know, you can look at all the challenges that typically would be faced by um, the performance testers in general. And uh, moreover, you can practice, you can get a hands-on. I, I can give you an access to the logon. This needs to be purchased. The access to the logon servers, it's not free. It needs to be purchased from the third party vendor. So I've already purchased few. So I can, I can make those things available to you if you can enroll to my course. Um, you can go to my website. Uh, you can go to my website uh, and then look at the details of uh, uh, about the course okay so if you go to the website and you, you can go to the uh, you can either have a recorded videos or live sessions so if you let's say if you went to the recorded videos okay so <clears throat> all the information regarding my course is up there so you can look at all the information that will be covered and the price and all that okay so um, this is for this video is for the recording guys the next video i will show you how to make sense out of this code okay okay and where are these transactions and how all that and the next video we will play back and also we'll look at the recording options and the runtime settings as well and before i i, I wrap this uh, video up so if you're wondering what are the typical challenges that you face uh, in sap gui protocol not challenges what are the things that you wanted to be aware of error handling okay uh, optional windows sometimes you know there are something called optional windows which means that the screen or the window sometimes appears sometimes it doesn't appear let's say for the first iteration it will appear the second iteration it will not appear so this optional windows how do we handle it they need to be handled because if it's not there uh, then it uh, the script will look for that and if it is there then the script will say oh something else came up you know i'm not expecting it so this you need to be handling this optional windows and uh, there is something called grid when i'm talking about sap gui applications so how to retrieve values okay retrieve values from the grid this is the typical challenge faced by a lot of uh, performance testers and then file operations okay so how to take the input from the first script and put it into the second script this is a general challenge that you face again in the sap gui protocol okay other than this the other things you know the regular challenges that will be faced will be covered as a part of the course so if you wanted to learn it yourself as well so these are the challenges uh, that you have to concentrate on so uh, so that at least in the interviews you can talk it or talk about these challenges because uh, when you say that you worked on the sap gui protocol definitely um, the interview would ask you what are the challenges uh, uh, that you faced while using the sap gui protocol okay or when you actually got into the project you definitely you know at some point of time you know you will be facing these challenges and you have to and uh, you will have to take care of it okay um, so watch out for my next video guys uh, for the playback and understanding the code.